what happened to Carol Brady, June Cleaver, and Donna Reed. The women on cable seem highly unstable, and prime time's no better indeed. Whenever I'm streaming, I'm fuming and steaming, I never can get what I need. Where's my female role model who'll vacuum and swaddle, not wear orange, steal cash, or sell weed? Where, oh where, oh where are they now, the likable female protagonists? What happened to wives who were sweet and benign? Today they're more salty than pickles in brine. I love Walter White, Don Draper's all right, and Elliot Stabler's hot. But Skylar was petty, I hated that Betty, and Kathy deserved what she got. Boom. Roseanne was so trashy, Fran Fine was too flashy, but at least they both cared for a man. It's with serial daters and vicious man-haters that all the real troubles began. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why do they make unlikable female protagonists? Grown women who hang in sororities with totally messed up priorities. For example, the four-in-one harlot, Miranda and Charlotte, and Carrie, and most of all, Sam. They down gin and tonics, waste money on blonics, and generally don't give a damn. Old broads like Dorothy and Rose are as bad, I suppose, and Blanche is one long liaison. But the worst single menace is one Elaine Bennis with her contests and sponges, and I can't go on. Oh, when, oh, when, oh, when will we get a likable female protagonist? Not a glass-ceiling, shattering, childless snob, or worse yet, a mother who's bad at her job. Mrs. Maisel loves comedy more than her children. Her husband should get them instead. Peggy Olsen from Mad Men abandoned her baby in favor of getting ahead. Christina Yang only likes to bang and says kids would destroy her career. But then Olivia Benson adopted a boy who gets kidnapped once a year. Whatever did we do to deserve the unlikable female protagonists? I'm sulking and seething whenever I'm seeing the likes of Gwen Verdon, Nurse Ratchet, Mare Sheehan. Why do they write them like this? I cannot understand. Oh, when I lounge on the couch, I just want to relax. So I'm canceling Netflix and HBO Max and sticking to tea.